just really quickly before the video begins, uh, I would like to say a big thank you to eHorses for sponsoring this video, but a little bit more on them very soon. Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're introducing another horse. Uh, you all met Undigo a couple of days ago. He's been doing great. He's actually going from strength to strength in his training. Uh, he's opening up more. He's very, very sweet. Uh, I've been enjoying him a lot. Uh, so he's uh, really, really good. We have the next horse, Grazioso. He just stands in the stable next to him. I already took him out for you guys to see. And today we're receiving a brand new horse. Uh, so that he's going to be arriving, I think, He's gonna be arriving, I think, in about half an hour. So we're gonna to have to we're gonna to have to get to the point and make it punchy with this video because I want to be there when he when he arrives. So we're gonna say bye to Undigo. Let's go see Grazioso. Uh, I was already telling you guys a little bit about him. He's a seven-year-old. He's about 163, 164 centimeters uh, high, um, and he's very very sweet. But let's see him and let's talk a little bit more about him then. Okay, so we're inside. This is Grazioso. Um, we kind of also nicknamed him Barbie Horse because he's got this beautiful little Barbie head. And for the rest, he's got quite a chunky body, but we're going to take a look at the body um, in a little bit. So uh, to get to know him, seven-year-old, really, really easygoing, really super sweet, straightforward horse. Uh, he's uh, very safe. Uh, and when you're riding, it's also very... Uh, straightforward and easygoing. Uh, he's got a very soft mouth. He's very uh, responsive to the leg, but in a nice way. He's not a hot horse, uh, but he is a very, very talented horse. I'm going to show you guys when I pop him on the lunge a little bit more about what I'm, what I mean with that. Um, so he's gray. As you can see, we have a tendency of loving grays around here. Um, but if we look at his body, he's in that really, really nice stage of a gray horse. Like he's dappled. Um, and he's looking really, really nice. This is my favorite color when they're at this stage. And he still has quite a dark mane, uh, which is also really, really nice to contrast the lighter body underneath. Um, I'm gonna insert some clips also of what he looks like here now. Matt, put them in. And I had his hair done up in a stallion plait and it looked so good. Uh, that really highlights his, uh, his muscles and his neck because he's actually quite muscly. He's, he's a little bit of a, a Barbie tank, <laughs> I guess. So let's pop him on the lunge. Ken tank. Hmm? A Ken tank. A Ken tank, yeah, I guess, <laughs> for the people who get that. Um, let's pop him on the lunge and I want to show you guys what he's moving like as well. Um, his back isn't that short for a lot of PREs. They can tend to have a very short back, but with him, it's not really that short at all. Um, he's got a really good uh, hind leg. I'm going to show you a little bit of, of that. I'm going to show you that better when we put him on the lunge. Um, and what we really, really liked about him uh, to begin with also is that he's super even in the body, kind of like Undigo. They have that symmetry in the front and in the back. Grazioso is a stallion, but as you can see, he has absolutely zero stallion behavior. Like even when you're riding with other horses, when you're walking down the breezeway of the stable, uh, he doesn't have any of the nipping tendencies that stallions tend to have. Uh, when he goes out in the field, uh, he's really easy. And the walker is really easy. And the aqua trainer, he's also really easy. Uh, we've been doing all those things with him. So the temperament was a huge plus. As you guys know, we only like to take horses that are really, really quiet and sensible. Um, and he's, I think, one of the quietest horses we have. He's definitely much more quiet than my horses. Uh, and they're very quiet. So. Let me get him on the lunge. Keeping in theme with today's video, I'm sharing with you guys a top secret about how to actually find really, really good horses directly from the sellers themselves, which is always the best thing to do. This counts if you're looking for a show jumper, a dressage horse, a PRE especially. You know, you don't want to have agents in between. If you can go directly to the person, it's much easier. We don't offer that many horses. We're only going to be able to cater to a very small number of people. So for everybody else who's looking, 
even if you're looking outside of Peary's, of course, eHorses is the website to go to. eHorses is a German owned sales platform with a huge reach. In 2020, eHorses had over 41 million views and a horse was sold through eHorses every 20 minutes. eHorses typically has lots of high quality horses, roughly one in three sold for over 10,000 euro. Now, the user journey is really, really simple uh, as a buyer, but as a seller, there are plenty of things that are also very, very good that I would like to highlight. These being advertisers may have up to five free adverts a year, and even basic ads can include up to five videos and up to 20 pictures. The site also has lots of editorial content and advice about buying, vetting, transporting horses, and more. And this is something that I'm gonna be using myself as well. Of course, we're gonna be having the horses for sale on our own website, but why not use such a huge platform to be able to showcase it to people who maybe don't know anything about what I do or the journey that I'm sharing about these horses. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video, eHorses. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, good luck anybody selling and buying. I'm gonna link everything down below so you guys can check it out. Uh, and now back to the video of Grazioso. Hi, so I'm actually coming in on my microphone because the audio, oh my god, I cannot even tell, I filmed this video guys four separate times now, and we ended up having to bring the microphones back, um, so I'm just gonna be talking over it and guiding you through what I'm thinking, so let's get into it. So here we have Grazioso finally on the lunge, and firstly, let's all talk about how pretty he looks, he just looks incredible, he's got... Such an amazing, cute personality, but also a really, really pretty head and body. Now, the walk is something I really, really like straight away from the beginning. As you can see, the hind leg is really coming up. He's picking it up and putting it straight underneath him um, with actually quite a bit of activity already in the walk. Now, this looks really promising for me for the future when it comes to him having to do half steps or piaf passage. Uh, I think he's going to be pretty naturally talented for that as well. Um, and God, he's going to make someone really, really, really happy. Okay, let's send him now into trot. Uh, you guys are going to be able to see a little bit more what I actually mean with that hind leg. You can already see it in the, in the walk. But in the trot, you can see that he's clearly picking it up and putting it underneath himself. Now, what I was saying last time in the uh, video of uh, the other horse is that he's... With the movement of the hind leg, he's generating a circle underneath his body more than he's generating a circle behind him. And he's doing this too, which is always really, really good to see. Uh, it shows he's using his hind end correctly. And again, it's all going to be helping us later on in the training when he has to do the more collected work, when we start to engage the hind leg even more. Uh, he is a seven-year-old. He is now starting the half steps and he's doing really, really good. Uh, and my trainer actually said that he's got the best hind leg in the stable, which <laughs> not sure how to feel about that, but the best natural hind leg that is. Um, and we have some talented horses in our stable. So that was a big, big compliment. He's very uh, uncomplicated, very straightforward. So let's send him off in the canter. I want to show you guys uh, the canter as well. Um, as you can see, I, I don't even have to use a whip. All I need is my voice, a little bit of encouragement, and then he's going to go off into the canter. Um, very sweet, safe horse. Uh, as you can see, he needs a bit of motivation here. Uh, but the canter is really, really even. It's got a nice bounce. Uh, the hind leg is tracking up underneath him nicely. Um, maybe I do need a whip here. <laughs> He's a little bit too comfy. Um, and yeah, oh, that's something I haven't mentioned actually yet is just how comfortable he is to ride. He's got the softest uh, trot, sit trot. He's got the softest canter. Um, I think he's one of the softest horses I've ever, ever ridden in my life, um, which is going to make someone really, really happy one day. I have no doubt about that. Um, but yeah, he is a very, very complete horse. He's got three really great paces. Um, and in the training so far, we've been doing a lot of shoulder ins, a lot of leg yields, getting him really supple and lengthening his... Um, stride in the trot getting him really loose he's really great at being up in the frame off the hand uh we're letting him practice now to also stretch and be able to let go of his whole body which he's doing really really nicely now i don't know if i clarified this already yet but i'm actually riding him myself um i'm not riding all the horses myself uh some of them are too small for me uh but he is definitely big more than big enough for me to to hop on and, and have a bit of fun with 
So that concludes the introduction of Grazioso. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed the video. We have a few more horses that are on the way. One horse had just arrived, uh, that arrived that day. That's what I was telling you guys about. Uh, and I'm so excited about sharing that with you all. Um, I need a suggestion because I'm always thinking of like titles for like videos and stuff like that, but I can't really like explain every time in a title what's happening. So do you guys have like, I'm going to make this little series inside of everything else I post on my YouTube. So for the sales horse stables, sales stables, should I do like sales stable episode one, sales stable episode two, should I have a name for it? I need help. So in the comment section below, let me know what you think about if there should be a series name, if I should just have like a specific title, like I always usually do like my stallion this. Oh my God, how unprofessional. I didn't put my phone on silent. As I was saying, you guys know I usually do like my stallion, blah, blah, blah. My huge stallion always meant Sereno, but I need a concept here that will work for the sales stable. So let me know if you guys have any ideas on that. Uh, and I'm looking forward to sharing with you guys the next horse and the progress of the first two horses and their training and their written videos very, very soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.